when you suspect there may be an interaction between variables and a multiple regression, you need to add a, another variable, an interaction variable, to take care of that or to help us find out if it's really a problem. Here I'm going to add a variable, age times MPA, and that's simply equal age multiplied times the MBA dummy variable status. And then I'm going to copy that all the way down my column there. So that's my third variable. And now I'm going to go to data, data analysis, regression. And here I need to put my Y range, which again is my salary, including the label at the top. And then my X variables. Now I've got three, and I select all three of those. Copy that range in. I've got labels, everything else default, and I want to put it up here in G3 and click OK. And I get results. I'm going to expand those so we can see we've got our R square and adjusted R square. And if we look down here, this again, I'm going to format everything as decibels. You can see down in the lower part of the ANOVA that the MBA term is not significant when we include the interaction between age and MBA. So what we need to do is run this again. We will not use the MBA variable this time and just use age and the age times MBA interaction variable. Here I've copied the data over into another worksheet and deleted the column of just the MBA. If you remember, when we're doing regressions, we have to have our X variables in adjacent columns. So I had to eliminate that middle column since I didn't want it in there. We go back to data, data analysis, regression, and I'm going to clean out again, select salary for my response variable, clean out those values, this time just age and age times MBA for my predictor variables. Leave everything else the same except I want to change that location and put it back in F2 and click OK. And we've got results again. I'm going to select those and expand them so we can see everything here. And again, I want to format those p values. You can see this time both the age and the age times the NBA slopes are significant. And again, because of the type of work we're doing here, we don't worry about the intercept being shown as not significant and the overall ANOVA is significant. So we would use this equation to predict our values of salary given age and MBA step. I've added a table similar to the one that I showed you in the categorical variable video. Here we're looking at the variables age, MBA, and salary and we want to know the, in, the value of the MBA. And to calculate it, this empty cell there, we just have equal the intercept plus the age slope times age plus the age times MBA slope, and we need to multiply it times age times MBA. And that gives us a value of 58,000. 340 for a 40-year-old with an MBA. You can see the 50-year-old, same equation, with an MBA is at 72,000. And the difference between having an MBA and not having an MBA 
differs as your age changes. You can see it's sixteen thousand dollars for a forty-year-old and twenty thousand dollars plus for a fifty-year-old. So that's the impact of an interaction.